the Judgment card. This is your main card. Hello Capricorn, welcome to your love reading. How are you doing? Let me know in the comments what is your current love situation, what is bothering you the most right now. And uh, in this reading I will try to cover as many details as possible. Keep in mind that this may or may not resonate with all of you because this is a general reading. Now with the Judgment card, let's reflect upon that. First let's shuffle the deck four times. You are in a position where you need to make a decision. Uh, you are quite aware that you need that next step. Now, either a better upgraded version of this past situation or a completely new connection. You cannot stand still anymore. You're wasting time uh, hoping that things will change by themselves. That's the kind of impression I'm having here with that judgment card. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio or this connection was very transformative for you. But let's see what is affecting you in your subconscious right now. You may have been dealing with a person that played games, that was juggling people, or in the best case scenario was very indecisive and entered the connection without much confidence or wanting to give this a chance, knowing since the very beginning that this was not leading anywhere because that connection was not that strong for them since the very beginning. And that's why those conflicts and uh, mind games may have happened. Until somebody here was forced to drop the connection completely because it was not going anywhere. But what was the main challenge in the past? I think staying in a connection even though you were hurt emotionally several times, in fact, and you were trying to be idealistic, uh, having high hopes that this person would change, the connection would be better, maybe this was normal for any connection to have these bumps in the road, but the main problem is that you were giving too many chances and you were putting them on a pedestal and not yourself. You should have chosen yourself first and then uh, then put uh, focus and attention to that person. That was the main mistake, I believe. The main That's why the main challenges happened. Because you were approving indirectly their actions by staying in that connection with them or maybe not discussing directly and having a straightforward, clear direct conversations with them about what was not working. You knew that something was not right with that connection, something felt off, but still not wanting to give up. Maybe because of the time that you had invested there, the energies or the big hopes and expectations. But how do you view this situation? Okay, you believe that you still may have feelings for them, but you are keeping those feelings to yourself because that's the only way to feel content and happy. It starts by loving ourselves first, then others. That is one of the lessons that you may have learned from all this experience. I do believe that you are healing, recovering much faster. You came out of this separation very hurt, deeply, unfortunately being very discouraged, having regrets, criticizing yourself that you were so naive uh, with that situation or putting much hope and expectations on the wrong person. Now, your focus, your next focus, big one, is commitment, marriage, long-term uh, stability, a serious relationship. That is the only main focus for you. And I do believe that's why you are having a very critical eye and being very logical with every potential, even with the past. Now, your fear is that uh, this person of the past, if you have still interest, may be cold, detached, or they may have cut off the connection completely. That may be your biggest fear, because you may still have some feelings for them, even though you are not expressing those feelings to this person and just keeping those feelings to 
uh, inside yourself, yes. What about the current energies? I think that the Prince or Princess Car Charming is uh, coming your way with uh, much love or good intentions. There seems like a proposal or uh, a kind act of trying to approach you to get to know you better. I have a water sign here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Now, Taurus was here as well. But this seems quite promising. I don't see this as being the most mature because this is not the king or queen of cups, but is a very kind, beautiful, emotional energy. Somebody has interest towards you. Seems like Romeo or Juliet, that kind of energy about your next uh, person. I have Scorpio here as well. I do think that this person will appear immediately the moment you will feel inside yourself that this connection has, has ended and you will stop completely thinking about the past. That is the moment this person appears, this Romeo or Juliet uh, in your love life. Meaning uh, this is a very emotional person with high ideals and I think a crush on you, they do have a crush on you, but they will appear when this past story has really finished. Now, you may think or say that this has finished already, but inside yourself, you may still feel them. You may still have those memories, those nostalgia. It is still there. I'm saying and meaning it has finished when you cannot recall any moment from the past anymore or uh, its effect has been diminished greatly. Now let's see about this past person. Let's see about their energies towards you. They do think a lot about you, but uh, they are keeping the distance because they think you are full of dramas. And and it's not easy as a connection. And it may not lead to something stable and serious. That's why they are keeping this distance. But this person thinks a lot about you. They do miss your love and your attention. They have been expected for quite some time, even a simple, serious or formal message from you. Uh, they are keeping the distance, moving away, trying to detach, but their heart cannot forget. I think you still live in their heart. They can't remove you from their heart. They can't control their heart. This is their biggest problem. Their mind is fighting with the heart. The mind wants to move on and look at other options, explore other opportunities. Their mind is telling them that this will not lead anywhere. This is unstable. This is short-lived if it was to be uh, reinitiated. And I do believe that this person have has some regrets here. And either they were avoiding you too much in the past or they did lie to you. And for this they want to apologize. That's when they will feel at peace with themselves and keep moving on much more smoothly and without so much regrets. That's when uh, they will try to detach completely from the past. You still live in their heart and this is their problem because they are trying to forget the past but they can't. Now if this reading resonated with you uh, I want to continue this in the extended with more details about this person. I want to view about their energies, their feelings, their intentions. How do they view you? Your energies as well. So if you're interested, the extended video is in the description box below. Thank you for watching. See you the next reading and bye for now.